hello from the sacred valley of peru i just felt to come on and make a video to share a little bit about um, an integrative approach to working with sacred plant medicines and ceremony and yeah a little bit about why we've decided to incorporate plant medicine work into our upcoming retreat here in january which i'm feeling very very excited about um, as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day here in the Andes. And yeah, if you're here, if you're watching this, if you follow my page, you may be interested in spirituality, self-development, consciousness, awakening, um, holistic wellness. These are all themes and topics that I've been passionate about for my entire life and that I've really been on this quest to uh, unpack and unfold and discover more and learn more and teach and share um, through the past 13 years or so of traveling the world. And, you know, these past several years living here in Peru, I've really had the opportunity to ground in both with the land here, the sacred, sacred nature of this land, which in itself is a catalyst of healing and awakening, um, and also to work with sacred plant medicine in ceremony, um, both, both ayahuasca, wachuma, as well as several other of the Amazonian plants here through plant dietas. And I've really, first and foremost, we come to understand the the power of the relationship that can be built when we work with plants in ceremony um, whether psychoactive or non-psychoactive plants right working with cacao working with rose working with bobanzana all of these these plants have a transmission to offer to us and when we invite them into our body and when we do so in an honoring space in a ritual ceremonial space particularly um, we begin to receive the messages that they have for us which tend to alchemize with whatever we are moving through in our life with whether we are needing emotional support physical support physical cleansing um, many many plants which are wonderful for that as well plants want to help us they want to be a part of us they want to they want to grow through us as well and so, you know, particularly when speaking about these master plants of ayahuasca and San Pedro or Wachuma, um, it is very important to approach these plants with the perspective that they are not a cure-all, right? This is what I mean about an integrative approach. So, um, for example, with, with the way that I support people with coming to these medicines, it is with a great amount of, of preparation, of intention setting, of preparation in body, in mind, in heart, in spirit, um, before even approaching the, the plant in ceremony, right? And um, to understand that the way that the plants work with us is to expand our perspective, to help us kind of step away from the conscious mind, from the day-to-day, -day, from the thinking mind, um, to help us kind of uncover any unconscious programming that might be running the show that we just can't really separate from in our day-to-day -day life. Um, and to really give us this direct connection with higher consciousness and the divine that can be incredibly healing, that can be incredibly illuminating, that can help us to receive insights, um, messages, shifts, embodied shifts, right? Like often we can just, we, we embody a new energy or something goes or something comes in that we've needed, right? So the plants have this ability to work with us in this way that is beyond the conscious mind. Um, as well, you know, working in ritual, working in ceremony, working with respect and honor and love for the plants helps them to work deeper with us as well. Um, but it's so important to understand that working with a, a plant like this, particularly a psychoactive plant, it is not a cure-all. In fact, I had a friend mention to me the other day, you know, rather than saying even plant medicine, they're more of allies. They are helpers. They help us to walk our path and they help guide us on our way and show us what we need. But ultimately, the plants will always point you back to your life, to your medicine within, to what you carry, to what you already know. <laughs> Where do you know it? I don't know, here, here, wherever, <laughs> right? Um, it's not about taking in something that you didn't have before, but it's about showing you something that maybe you need a little bit of help to see. Integration piece is everything for working with, with sacred plants, right? So if we leave a ceremony feeling like we're on top of the world or feeling like we've received something that will change our life, the truth is your life will change when you take the actions, when you first and foremost create the space for stillness to allow the experience to land, to allow the state of heightened receptivity that you will be in post-ceremony to nourish you, right? To start to implement healthy self-care practices, um, rituals, routines in that state of receptivity so that you can start to walk your path 
anew, to journal, to reflect, to take time alone, not to just take in other people's opinions or information or to talk so much about your experience right away, but to take those first few days to really process and be with um, and listen, to listen and to acknowledge and to take action, right? So an integrative approach to plant medicine work, in my view, means we don't need to sit in six, seven, eight, nine, ten ceremonies. <laughs> we don't even necessarily need three or four ceremonies in a row, right? Sometimes we just need one and um, to create a container of deep intention and proper integration before and after that ceremony. So, um, yeah, this is just something that I wanted to share. Yeah, like I said, in, in our retreat, we're having one ceremony of ayahuasca and one ceremony of San Pedro and Wachuma, both both incredible, incredible healers um, and a bit different because sometimes we see retreats with, with many ceremonies and our retreat, we're really focusing on the the supportive practices, the somatic work, the creative work, the connection work that we'll be doing together um, to support the ceremonial work as well. And as well, we'll be working with other other local plants here and maestros and learning about the healing traditions of the Andes. And so it's this supportive, integrative experience. And to me, in my nervous system, that's how I like to work with the plants. You know, it's going deep, but taking plenty of time to process. Um, and it's another story for another time I can share with you around how I came to this orientation with this work um, after having very different experiences at other times. But yeah, I'm sorry this video got so long. Side note, I don't think I'm posting the right way for Instagram. If anyone wants to be my Instagram assistant, please, I'm hiring. <laughs> okay, I'm sending love um, from these beautiful mountains and um yeah i hope this message landed or could provide some insight some information that helps you on your path um whether or not you're working with sacred plants as well if you're working with you know other spiritual practices there's so many that can be so deep right working in silence working with meditation working with darkness retreats all of these can provide the illuminating experiences that we experience with sacred plant medicine with breath work as well movement um tantra energy healing you know this is yeah, there's many ways we can access this and it's very important to create a container of preparation and integration before these experiences in order to anchor the effects and the process that it catalyzes for us. So that's what I want to say. Lots of love. Mwah. Talk to you guys soon.